who will be the nentha a king is called a nentha and a queen is called a lema in manipur this is a story from manipur about what qualities make a good ruler long long ago in the land of kangley park in manipur there lived a nentha and a lema they were loved dearly by the people the nentha and the lema on their part never stopped thinking about their miam their people our miam should be happy they said the people were not the only ones who loved their nentha and the lema the birds and animals too loved them the nentha and lema always said everybody in kangley park should live in peace not only the people but the birds animals and trees their beloved king and queen had three sons sana joba sana yema and sana tomba 12 years later a daughter was born she was named sana tombi she was a lovely child soft and beautiful inside she was loved by one and all the years went by and the children grew up well and then one day the nintho called all his ministers and said it is now time to decide the tungi nintho the future king the ministers were shocked but oh nintho what is there to decide sana joba your elder son will be our future king well the nintho replied that's how it happened in the old days the elder son always become the future king but times have changed so let us select a king who is best were most worthy of becoming a king we will have a contest to select the future king the lema said and so in the land of kangley park there was a contest a horse race however the kong gang the banyan tree first would be declared tungi nintho but then a strange thing happened Sana Joba, Sana Yema, and Sana Tomba, all three of them finished the race together. But they were expert riders, and all three reached the finish line at the same time. There was great excitement. There was great excitement. Look at them! The people shouted, "Sangol, Tauba, Nupa, such fine horsemen!" But one question remained: Who would be the Tungi Nintho? The Nintho and the Lema turned to their sons. The Nintho said, "Sana Joba, Sana Yema, and Sana Tomba, you have proved that you are fine horsemen. Do something different, each one of you, so that we can declare who will be the Tungi Nintho." Suddenly, Sana Joba mounted his horse and held. He spread straight in front of him. He looked around. Three was, three was a hush among people. What is Sana Joba, the eldest son, going to do? They thought to themselves. Sana Joba then looked at the huge Kong gang standing majestically in the distance. He pressed the tree and jumped his horse right through it. Bravo, bravo! The people shouted, "Thoro, thoro!" And then they fell silent. Now it was the turn of the second son, Sanayama. What would he do? Sanayama too looked at the Kong gang as he mounted his horse. Then he too rode towards the tree harder and harder. The people watched in silence, afraid to even to breathe. When he was really close, he urged his house horse to jump higher and higher. The horse rose until horse, the and rider jumped clear over the huge tree and landed on the other side in a wonderful motion. The people breathed in relief and said in unison, "Fajay, fajay, wonderful, wonderful!" And now. It was the turn of the youngest son, Sana Tomba. 
he too rode his horse towards the kongang and before anybody knew what was happening approved it thumpantly he carried the tree to the nenthau and the lema laid at it at their feet shouts of thoro thoro phejai phejai fill the mountains the people grew restless why were the nenthau and the lema taking so long to make the announcement they craned their neck to see what was happening the nenthau and Lema was watching Sana Tombi, their five-year-old daughter. She looked sad and lonely. She started at the kongang, which lay dead by the throne. Birds flapped wildly around, searching for their homes in the tree. Sana Tombi walked up to the kongang and whispered, "The kongang is dead. It was hurt by the spell, and now it is dead." The people were all attention. The Nintho stood up. He looked at the three boys. He looked at the little girl. He turned to the people. If anybody is worthy of becoming the ruler, he said, "It is little Sana Tombi. It was she who told us to look at the soul of the Kongang. Sana Tombi feels the pain of others. She feels the pains of the people, the animal, the birds, the trees." I declare Sana Tombi future Lema of Ka- Lay Park. The Nintho said. A silence fell. Everyone turned to look at the little girl, their future queen. There she stood, all the five, all of five, like a small kongang with birds flying all around her. They sat on her shoulders and on her head. She held out the con, uh, out her hands. full of rings and the birds flapped about her picking at the food a lame is one who da- who doesn't hurt anybody in the kingdom written by indra mukherjee thank you